there. Today we'll learn some cool tricks to learn multiplication and division facts. This is a multiplication table. It shows the product of multiplying numbers from 1 to 10. Memorizing these is helpful since multiplication is a big part of math. With multiplication facts, you either memorize them or you get stuck with adding the same number over and over, which takes a lot of time. Looking at the multiplication table, you might think it would be impossible to memorize that many numbers. But don't worry, we have some cool strategies to help you. Let's start with multiples of one. As long as you know how to count, then you already have this memorized. Remember that any number multiplied by one is equal to itself. Multiplying by 10 works the same way. We only need to add a zero at the end. For example, 10 times three is equal to three with an added zero, which is 30. Next, for multiples of two, we simply have to double the number that's multiplied to it. For example, two times seven is simply seven plus seven, which equals 14. Notice that with just these facts, we already know half the table. Now let's take a look at threes. To memorize this, repeatedly count by threes up to 30. Three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. When you can recite this with no problems, multiplying threes will be easy. For example, three times four would be as easy as reciting the multiples up to the fourth number, which is 12. The same techniques can work for multiples of four. Memorize counting by fours up to 40. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. So for example, four times six can be solved just by reciting these multiples up to the sixth number, which is 24. Next, learning multiples of five is much easier because each multiple ends in five and zero alternately. So we'll have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Lastly, let's take a look at multiplying by nines. When we count by nines, we get nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Do you notice any pattern in the numbers? Did you notice that each multiple goes up by one in the tens place and goes down in the ones place? Pretty cool. So if we have nine times two, we can look at the pattern and see that the answer is 18. Now that we know how to get the multiples of one, two, three, four, five, nine, and 10, we are just left to memorize a few more. Memorizing the product of some numbers is easy. Six times six equals 36, seven times seven equals 49, and eight times eight equals 64. After that, we just need to remember that six times seven equals 42, six times eight equals 48, and seven times eight equals 56. And that covers the entire multiplication table. Remember the most important thing is to practice, practice, practice. Make it a habit and use the strategies we've learned as much as you can. We know you can do it. Once you have your multiplication facts memorized, you also know all of your division facts. You just have to think about what two factors you multiply together to get that answer. So if you have 54 divided by six equals blank, just ask yourself, how many sixes does it take to get to 54? Or six times what number equals 54? 
Once you know six times nine equals 54, you know that 54 divided by six equals nine. Let's keep practicing multiplication and division facts. Push pause while you complete each task. You can do this on your own. Write about it. What patterns do you see as you study a multiplication chart? See if you can write down two to three patterns. You can do this with a partner. Quiz each other on your multiplication facts. See how many you can say in one minute. Here's another idea. Make it a competition and race to see who can say the most facts first. Let's try a challenge. Multiplication and division go hand in hand. They're actually called inverse operations. Challenge yourself to turn your multiplication facts into division facts. That's it for our lesson on multiplication and division facts. See you again soon. Did you enjoy this video? Bottle has more awesome learning content delivered through amazing 3D games. Sign up today.